Gregory Gianforcaro from New Jersey, criminal defense attorney on the other end of our AT&T line. Thanks for being available this morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. What do you make of the verdict? Look, in a situation like this, <clears throat> in a situation like this, there are only two people who know really what happened, and Reva Steve Steenkamp is, is dead. So in this type of situation, we'll never know. We as the listeners and ones who followed this, we'll never know exactly what happened other than what was told to us. Um, look, here in a situation like this, it's very, very hard to prove criminal homicide in a situation like this because you've only got one version of events other than the physical evidence. Now, there, was, there were indications that they were yelling and screaming, but Oscar Pistorius said they were his screams after discovering the fact that he shot and killed his girlfriend. I think in the end there were there was uh, uh, I guess there was a reasonable doubt in the judge's mind as to exactly what happened here, and that's why he was found not guilty. Not so, guilty, but guilty found... of what's called I guess manslaughter, and that could well, carry a charge of up to fifteen years. It, it seems right. to me if he if it was innocent, uh, why, why would he have to serve any time at all if he thought it was an intruder and he shot well, through that, the door? Well, that's that is absolutely true. At, but really, it's really uh, there's a difference between manslaughter and what happened with him. He was found guilty of culpable homicide, and what's meant with culpable homicide is that he acted with negligence. In, in our country. Reckless uh, uh, manslaughter requires some element of recklessness, reckless conduct. Here the judge said that Oscar Pistorius was negligent in the way he went about uh, his actions that evening, and that negligence resulted in the death of his girlfriend. I guess you're not supposed to shoot through a door when you don't know who's on the other side. Uh, although, you know, you can speculate all you want, like you said, but, I mean, if there was an intruder... And you were in bed with your fiance, girlfriend, whatever it might be. Yeah. Wouldn't you first reach over, like just on instinct, to say, like, stay there or get down or something? Well, he claims that he thought she was still in bed. Yeah. But, you know, under the circumstances, you are absolutely right. And you're probably, and that is probably the reason that the judge made the decision that she did. Because under the circumstances, it may not have been, say, reckless, or there may be doubt whether or not there was intent to uh, kill her. But here, at the very least, he was negligent, and that why, that's why the verdict came down as it did this morning. You know you know how when you're in a, in a car and someone's in the front seat with you, your wife or whatever, and then you have to put on the brakes real fast, and your arm just kind of goes out instinctively, to protect the passenger, even though your arm could certainly not stop anything in a crash. That's what I'm right. talking about, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, there, was a, there, were, there were issues here that were very different. There was an issue. Uh, Oscar Pistorius said that they had actually been sleeping for five hours, but the autopsy uh, of his girlfriend indicated that she'd eaten approximately two hours before. So they tried to use that. The, the, the prosecution tried to use that inconsistency as a way of saying, look, this is all what Oscar Pistorius is saying. It's all a lie. But in the end, they couldn't prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. Is he the modern-day O.J.? You know, that's hard to say. Of course, O.J. Simpson was found not guilty across the board. Um, look, time will tell. Uh, what he's done, he's he, what's made this case so amazing is that Oscar Pistorius is a hero to so many, or at least was a hero. Yeah. I mean, he's a double amputee who, and, and we always, I myself have always wondered, I've had clients who have been in the Special Olympic Games. Yeah. 